Hello, I'm Maya, and today I am going to show you my Labor Day uh, thrift haul. Um, I may look a little wild right now, um, that's because I just thrifted for a very long time, and um, yeah, there were tons of people there, and it was pretty crazy, but I found some pretty amazing things. Um, before I start off with uh, the Labor Day sale, even though this is Sunday and Labor Day is tomorrow, um, I went to an estate sale yesterday and then went thrifting afterwards because I was in an area that I usually am not in. Um, so I'll show you a few things that I got there. Uh, the first thing at the estate sale I got I don't have with me because I hung it up, but it's one of those... Uh, like coat hook type things that uh, expands, like the diamond looking ones. Uh, I just got one of those for my purses and it was actually free. Um, so that was awesome because I've been needing one. Um, I also got this box of, it's like snaps and the little uh, hook and loop closures. And this was also free. Um, this is great because uh, when you thrift, a lot of times uh, clothing can be missing a snap or a little fastener and if you don't have any I mean you can't fix it and so it's awesome to get that uh, I actually I, I'm wearing let me show you I'm wearing this skirt that I showed in another video and I said that I was gonna maybe put a buttonhole but I was able to just fix the original uh, hook and loops so that was awesome but those were free which was great um, I also got this scarf in my hair it's just a little yellowy one and this little guy, um, who will, I think this will be cute in a ponytail, um, but I got these all for free. Um, and then I got a coat, uh, which when I got home I realized it was just too big for me. Um, but it was vintage, uh, nice dark green, and I think it was handmade by the ladies uh, who it was. Um, but I think it will fit my mom, so I'm going to give it to her when she comes to visit me and hopefully it fits her and looks good um, but it's the dark green and that color I think flatters both of us um, so hopefully she'll like it um, and then I got this shirt which is hand sewn it's pretty big but I can tie it up and it uh, looks okay um, I it's it must be polyester but it's just this little floral pattern, which I am really into little vintage florals like this. So I picked that up. And so everything together um, was $5. So this and then the coat. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's just all I got at the estate sale. Um, there wasn't really that much. Uh, I did go at the end. That's a good tip for estate sales is that if you are super poor and don't want to pay that much go at the very end of the sale because they're trying to get rid of stuff whatever they don't sell they're gonna to have to haul out of the house themselves um, so they'll give you pretty good deals on things like the few things that I got free and all that so definitely uh, either go super early if you can get up and wait and like go at the very start because you can get the things that are underpriced or go at the very end and you won't have the best selection necessarily but there will be some cool stuff um, so then I went thrifting afterwards to a value village um, it, I just I'm never in that area so I decided to go to one because I figured I probably wouldn't be back for who knows when uh, so I picked up a few things. Oh, it's got hair. Okay, let's see. Um, I'll just show this. Okay, so first thing I picked up is this little free people top. And I don't know what type of bra or whatever I'm going to wear with it. Maybe wear it over something. Um, but it's just lacy with some little flowers. It does. I realize it has a little hole in the back. Um... But I put it on and you can't even see it when it's on, so I'm not going to worry about it. But it was only $2, and that's why I picked it up, because I was like, damn, th free people for $2? Um, that's awesome. But it's uh, just a little top. I probably won't wear it that much just because of the whole 
raw situation with it, but um, I liked it, and I feel like it's different than a lot of things I have, so I'm excited to try it out. Um, okay, and then I just got this little floral, it's an Eddie Bauer, just t-shirt. Uh, the neck comes up a little higher than... Hold on, let me turn off my AC. Oh, God, can you even... I feel like you can't hear... If you can hear, I'm so sorry, but I'm so hot. Um, okay, so I got this little Eddie Bauer floral top. It was only $2.50. Um, and I think it will go with a lot of uh, things I already have. It's almost like a... Uh, staple item kind of, a basic, except my basics have patterns apparently. Um, and then, oh god, my cat has already gotten hairs on this somehow, even though, oh my god, basil! So many hairs. Okay, so I got, <laughs> damn it, I got this pair of pants, it's just black dress pants, and they're linen and viscose, or rayon. Um, no, I came out of class. But they're just normal, oh my god. I have to definitely lint roll this. Just normal dress pants, uh, but they're that light fabric, so they'll be good for, uh, the heat. They're only three fifty two, too, which is my type of price, because I don't like, oh my god, basil. I don't like dressing up for things, and for some of my classes, I'm going to need to look a little bit more professional, unfortunately. So I figured these would be a good start to uh, moving towards that. Um, okay, so then I got this uh, Chaps shirt. It's linen and it's yellow and it's just nice. I like it. I like linen and yellow. Um, it was $7, which is a little much, but I, I really like the way it fit and just everything about it. So. I begrudgingly paid seven dollars. Okay, now this next item. Wowie. Okay, so it's this. Oh my god, there's hairs on Basil, what the how? It's like when I leave he just like rubs against everything. So it's this denim jumpsuit, which I did like un which I need to fix it up and iron it. But I did undo the cuffs because to make it longer so it would fit me better. But I got this and it was only six dollars, which that's awesome. But um I got this for a few reasons. I've been wanting something like it. Uh I feel like it has pretty cool retro vibes. Oh and it does have a belt but I probably will use a scarf or something. Um but I just like the look of it and these are so hard for me to find. I mean, if you are tall or have a long torso, you know the struggle. You put on a jumpsuit and you're like, oh, this is going good until you have to put on the shoulder part. And then, I mean, it just like almost slices you in half. But um, this actually fits my torso. And after I let out the cuffs on it, it fits my legs. Um, it just... The fit all around is pretty good. Um, the neck piece is actually almost a little long, so I might do something with that. might not. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but that was just super exciting. Okay, and then the last piece I got was kind of overpriced in my opinion, um, but I still got it, so it, I guess it wasn't overpriced. Uh, but it was $8, but it's just this vintage dress. Um, I think it's hand-sewn. But here's the top, and then it has these two little pockets, and then it's a long dress. Um, I got it because I thought the colors were very fall appropriate, and the style is almost still a little summery, so it's good for that transition. And obviously I love vintage items, so I picked this up, and even though it was, what, $8.00? It was still worth it. I like it. And I have another dress that is a similar shape that I like wearing. Okay, so um, before I start the rest of this thrift haul, uh, go get a drink, go get a snack. This is going to be a long one. I spent entirely too much money 
I'm not going to say how much of it. I'm sure you can add it up because I'll tell you the prices. But today, um, Savers, uh, Unique Value Village, the, the ones in that uh, family, of, like that brand, um, they were all having 50% off for uh, rewards members, which obviously I am a rewards member. So I woke up bright and early and got there right when they opened. And I, I don't even feel like I got there. I thought they opened at 10, but it seemed like they were open at 9, so I had no idea. But I got there, and it was wild, and I got a ton of awesome stuff. I feel like I got all the stuff that I had been wanting and hadn't found before, so on 50% off day, that is a good time to get it. So anyway, without further ado, uh, let's get into it. So the first store I went to was uh, Unique which it's like a saver's value village they're all the same thing which okay <laughs> where I went there's a unique and a value village right next to each other and they're basically the same store with a different name so like you go to one and then you just go next door to the other and it's the same thing just with like different stuff and so that's pretty fun to go over there that's why I picked that location because uh, there's another unique I like but I figured I should just go and do all of it, even though, I don't know, it seemed like I didn't need to go to two, but. Okay, first I'm going to start with uh, the artwork that I got for my, I have an art wall, um, which will you'll see in an apartment tour video that I will do at some point. Um, so the first thing I got was marked for $10, but obviously I got it for less, is this uh, just oil painting. And I just like the colors and the scene. I thought it would go good with everything else I have over on my art wall. And I like that it's a bigger piece because I have a lot of smaller pieces. Um, oh, and my quilt fell off. Okay. So yeah, I just picked that up for only $5. And, oh shit. Okay, for, hold on. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so for only $5, that seemed like a good deal. And it is like an oil painting and not a print, which I'm not, unless it's a print of a painting that I really, really love, I'm not really a print person. I would rather have an actual painting, which um, I do paint occasionally, and I guess I could paint something, but I don't know. I'd rather look at something someone else did than something I did, because once I... Uh, like paint something I've looked at it for so long that I just I'm like get it away from me. <laughs> okay, so the rest of this art, oh good lord. Okay. The rest of this art okay, oh my gosh. So I found this guy. It's um here I'll you can see, yeah. So it is uh cross stitch butterflies and I really like the shape of it. I feel like the shape's pretty unique. Uh, unique, get it? <laughs> it's from Unique. Um, but it was $4.99, so it's only $2.50, which, I mean, the amount of work it takes to do one of these is a lot. So, like, $2.50 is a steal. And I love the colors and everything. They also had one that was similar that had a violin and a guitar, and it had a black background, and I really considered it for a very long time, but I figured, like, well, except this ugly couch. I don't have a lot of black in my room, and I don't know, I just didn't feel like it would go. So I left it behind, hopefully someone else gets it and loves it. Okay, so then, well, <laughs> don't have a lot of black in my room, but this is just a picture frame. It's kind of beat up a little bit, but it was only end up being 250. So it's just this, uh, I got it because it can hang, and I think, I have some photo strips, and it is so hard to find something that those can go in and not get cut off. So I think this is the proper size. And I'll probably, I don't know if I'll hang it actually because it's black and I don't know. We'll see. I'll do something with it. Um, it has like the back part too, but. Uh, so that was only $2.50. Okay. Okay, this was like kind of weird and like 
maybe I shouldn't have got it, but because like the colors are ugly. <laughs> but like it's it's rocks. It's made out of rocks. Like how freaking cool is that? Like what? The, I have a lot of stuff on. I realized like my art wall didn't have until this painting that I just got didn't have any paintings. It was just all like like fabricy stuff and whatnot. So this is uh just it's rocks, like what the heck? I'm I might paint the frame or something so it like matches a little better. I think if I do orange it will bring that out and like seem like it matches better. But this was only two ninety nine, so a dollar fifty rocks <laughs> okay oh man this is probably my favorite art piece i found it's this little guy it's one of those um i don't know what you call, like embroidery type uh floral things um and you can tell i kind of like flowers i guess um i guess well I'm, i can't really have plants in here because my cat will eat them even uh, fake plants, he'll eat those as well. He's done it before. So I can't have any type of like plants, real or fake. So I guess my way of having plants is just putting them on the walls. But I just love this. The colors are precious. The frame is precious. It was only $1.50 for me. Like, yes, I'm sold. Okay, so that's, I think, it with the art. But then I did pick up this clock. How's the green look? Oh man, that green. I did good. Okay, so I got this clock. Um, it's it's kind of scratch up, nothing special. I just didn't have a wall clock, and I like having one. So I don't know where this will end up. You'll see it in my apartment tour. Um, but only two dollars, and I thought it matched pretty well. Okay, so let's see. There's so much. This video is going to be so long. I'm sorry. Unless you like long videos, then you're welcome. Okay, so I got this little guy. It's just this vintage, like, flower pot, which it has some, like, nasty dirt and stuff in it. I don't really... I guess it's not a flower pot because it doesn't have the bottom. So, like, fake flower pot. Um, I just thought the colors were good and have no idea where this is going. Oh, I actually have a shelf up there that I think I could put this and maybe put a plant on because I don't think Basil, Basil could reach it. Okay, so maybe I'll do that, but it was only $1.50 and I just, the colors are great, flowers, vintage aesthetic, like I can't, uh, can't complain there. So, oh, here, we'll do this. So the next thing I got, it's actually two things. Oh, this has like, oh. Okay, so it's these two Tupperware containers, which, if you didn't know, um, Tupperware is actually, like, a multi-level marketing company, so, like, eat. But, like, there's, like, the vintage Tupperware, um, so I'll take off this sticker, but it just has a little pattern, it's yellow, there's the other little guy, um, there actually were two other ones of these, I saw, after I got these, they're in another lady's cart. So she must have picked up some first and then, which I'm bummed about because, like, I would have liked them. But this is nice. I needed a container like this to put Basil's food in because I have a huge bag of food for him. And I don't want to, like, lug the bag around every time I need to give him food. Um, this one, who knows what will go in it. But I just, I love the colors and I feel like these can sit out and look nice. Um, so let me put those down. Okay, Okay. so on, I guess I'm doing kitchen stuff now, um, okay, Ugh. oh, and those were like, okay, so it was $1.29, so, oh god, I don't want to do the math, but what's that, Six fifth, 65 cents, and then the other one was $2, so it was a dollar, so, hell yeah, actually, I'll probably use this one for food. Okay, so I got this plate, and he was a dollar, because it's only two dollars. Um, I just like the design. I get a, just, like, random plates. I don't have matching stuff. Um, I just get whatever I like. Um, so this was one of them. Okay, so the next thing is this vintage Pyrex, which 
it's kind of hard to come by because I feel like everybody looks for it. Um, this was $3 for me, um, which I needed a bigger bowl to do stuff in because I only have my small ones. And so, like, if I'm going to mix a salad, can't do that in a tiny bowl. So I got this. Um, it is kind of worn, but I love the color. And I was super excited to find them. I always look for these when I go out and never find them. So, uh, man, I have all this, like, fit. Someone died who had a lot of vintage stuff and they donated it all to Goodwill is what, or not Goodwill, to Unique is what I'm picking up on. Um, okay, so the next thing is just this bowl. It has birds on it with some leaves and it was $2.99, so it was $1.50. Um, I accidentally, like, hit my bowl off of my nightstand with my butt and it shattered <laughs> so like I was left with one bowl so now I have two okay so the next thing I got was this plate I thought it was just really cool with the different like sections they had two more of these but I decided to only get one since it was two dollars and I mean that's kind of a lot but I just thought it was precious with the little dividers. Um, so yeah. Okay. So the next thing I got was a dollar fifty. It's just this other bowl. Um, I liked the shape of it. I like bigger bowls. I hate when they're like those tiny, shallow ones. Like, how am I supposed to eat cereal out of that? You can't. You need a big bowl, preferably really a mixing bowl for cereal if you're hungry. Um, but just got that. It's pretty simple. It's kind of a boring one. And I also got this one for a dollar. It's just this little vintage floral pattern. Um, so now I'm up to four bowls. Okay, that's it. Okay, I'll just show you this since it's coming out. This is just this vintage fabric which I've been looking for fabric, uh, well, I had been looking on eBay, um, and I found one I liked, but it was kind of expensive, and someone else bid on it, so I was going to have a bidding war, and who knows how that would have gone. But I've been looking for fabric to make, well, not for me to make, but for my grandmother to make cushions for my chairs that I got, and so this was $3 for me, and it's just this big, like, vintage, almost like flower power pattern, which, these go for a lot on eBay. Like, some of them are expensive. I think those are maybe more like the branded ones, but who knows. Um, but I just saw that and had to pick it up. Even if my cushions don't, if I don't make it cushions with this, I'm going to do something with it. Um, maybe find a vintage pattern and learn how to sew and sew me a dress. Probably not, though. Okay, so the next thing I got are these sunglasses, and they were $1.50. They're like the classic, like... 90s ones and I put them on and I felt like they looked kind of cool I don't know I'm late to the trend so like I'm sure we're gonna be back to like huge glasses like tomorrow and I'll just have to redonate these or something but I just thought they're cute they're kind of like a tortoise shell uh, just simple okay okay it looks like we're getting on to the clothes for this part well okay so I did buy two pairs of shoes at Unique, which I don't usually buy shoes at the thrift store because, um, I don't know, they, I have a weird size, I'm a nine and a half, which like, they, a lot of brands stop making half sizes at eight and a half, like why, I don't know, but it happens, so I usually just don't, it's not that I'm like not against uh, getting shoes or something, like, I just never find any. But today, I actually found three pairs, but two of them are from Unique. So, the first one are these. <laughs> Warning, these are kind of ugly. They're just these, like... I mean, they, they aren't even worn on the bottom. They're called walking cradles. And I've been having to walk to class, and my feet have been crying. Um, so I thought these would be good to walk to class in, and they're, like, brand new. Um, but they're super, like, they're, 
they're walking cradles, let me just tell you. But yeah, they're kind of ugly, but also I needed something professional, and I can't wear my beat up docks when I wear business casual, apparently. So got these uh, ugly yet functional. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then the next pair I got, oh, and hold on, let me tell you the price of those last ones. The last ones, they were $16, so they're $8, which, I mean, really not bad for, those are new. Okay, so these ones also, they're not new, but they're, like, very, like, I mean, they have almost no wear. Uh, they're these heels, they're kind of, like, a reptilian print. They have, like, these... You can see the heel. It's like this wide heel, which I'm sure is like old lady, but I don't care. I am old lady. Who knows? Okay, so, and then the front is like that, which I think is unique. Um, but I tried these on, and they're comfortable and fit really well. And I don't really have, like, heels. So I have, like, boots with heels, and I have wedges, but I don't really have basil. <laughs> Basil. I don't really have, excuse me, I don't really have, um, like, professional looking, but, but I like these, and, I mean, it won't break my soul to wear them, so that's why I got them. Um, okay. Stop it. Okay, we're going on the clothes. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm just going to show you. This is, like, probably one of the best things I've found, but I'll show it in the middle, whatever. It's this awesome vintage dress, like, super cool flower power. Basil, stop. Jesus. Super cool flower power. Oh, like, yeah. oh my god. Basil, stop. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's about to throw up. Okay, sorry about all that. Um, so it's this vintage flower power, 60s, like, mod looking dress. Um, the only thing wrong with it is that one of the button covers is missing, which I feel like that could be fixed, uh, like, decently, simply, because you could just find a fabric that is one of these colors and just replace it. Um, but I love this. I love it so much. Uh, also the length is good. I've tried on some of these before and they've been like, my butt cheeks have been showing, so I adore this and I'm super happy I found it. Oh, and, oh, and so, hold on, I don't know how much this was. I think it was only, let's see, it's the last thing on their seat. Okay, so, they gave it, it didn't have a tag. So they said $5, and the lady was like, I don't have, like, a thing to ring up $5, so I'm going to do 4 So it was only $2. Oh, my God. Yes. Okay. So the next thing, let's see. Okay. <laughs> this is a little bit crazy, but hello. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so I got this, uh, like, green blade. 